everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're making a super simple pork fajita and a fajita seasoning today. So hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. If you have a fajita seasoning you already love, you can skip this step. I personally don't have one. I don't even think I've ever seen a fajita seasoning in the store. But I happen to have all the ingredients on hand needed to make my own. All the ingredients listed are going to make you about two and a half tablespoons, which works well with this recipe. So combine all of your ingredients and mix them up really well and set it aside. Now grab your bell peppers and onions. I use my snacking peppers and I use about four of each because four would equal about the size of one bell pepper. You're going to slice all of your vegetables and your meat lengthwise. You'll need about two pounds of pork, making sure when you cut them, Cut them so they can fit inside of your tortilla. Now that we're done cutting, let's go ahead and grab your seasoning we made earlier and just put half of that inside of a veggie bowl and toss it well. Use the remainder of the seasoning into your pork bowl and do the exact same thing. Oh by the way, if you don't eat pork, go ahead and substitute this with chicken. In a large skillet on medium high heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to cook our pork first. Separate the pieces and cook these until they are no longer pink. Continue cooking them until they look charred, not burnt. Once these are finished cooking, grab a large dish and set these aside. Now grab a paper towel and fold it up so you can place these in between your tongs. We're going to use this to wipe out the pan because we don't want to leave any of those pork remnants in there. Go ahead and place another tablespoon of olive oil then add all of your sliced veggies into the pan, cooking them until they are tender. Mine took about nine minutes to cook through. Once your veggies are done cooking, what I like to do is push them all to the side so I make a little hole for the pork to go in. This just makes it easier to combine the vegetables and the pork together. And now dinner is done. This dinner was absolutely fantastic with amazing flavor. If you guys like getting quick tutorials on different dinner ideas, make sure you hit that notification bell. So thank you for watching Watch Me Cook. We are cutting up these bell peppers to, I believe, saunter it in the pork. I don't know what's the right word. I don't know. Mom, did I use the right word or not? I don't know. <laughs> 